What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is the Acer Predator Helios 300, the most powerful gaming laptop under $1100. Acer did send out the laptop for review and sponsored this video and as always guys at the end of the video I'll be sharing the things I liked and didn't like about the laptop and maybe even a giveaway so stick around. Alright so it comes equipped with a Kaby Lake 7700HQ and a 6GB GTX 1060 which will easily get you over 60 FPS in most AAA titles. No other gaming laptop has these specs for this price point. Okay, let's talk about the build quality. Most manufacturers would cheap out here to keep the costs down, but Acer actually did a great job. The laptop has a top metal plate with a brushed aluminum look, and the same goes for inside, and then everything else is pretty much plastic. There's very little flex on the display and the chassis, which is surprising on a laptop for this price point. It's also very easy to open up with just one hand. The keyboard is solid. It has a numpad and it's actually backlit in red LEDs, which you can turn off if you want. The keys are a bit spongy, but don't have any problems typing on it. The only thing I'm not a fan of on the keyboard is the placement of the shift and the arrow keys. They're kind of crammed together in a weird spot. The trackpad is in a really good spot and doesn't interfere with me typing and I haven't experienced any lag or stutter. It's very responsive. The buttons on there, however, are a bit harder to press than I'm used to. The laptop also comes with a standard 720p camera located on the top of the display with decent low light performance. The downward firing speakers do get pretty loud, but it lacks bass and clarity in the highs. I do recommend using headphones with this laptop, especially if you don't want to hear the fan noise on full load. Speaking of fan noise, the laptop does come with Predator Sense, which is a software that gives you the option of controlling the fan speed. You can either set it to max or adjust it yourself for both the CPU and GPU. The monitor has a 15.6 inch IPS 1080p panel with great viewing angles and anti-glare coating. Full brightness on this laptop is about 250 nits, which is kind of standard compared to other gaming laptops I've reviewed on the channel. I definitely wouldn't use this outdoors or in really bright rooms. If you guys stay away from those, then it's not really a big deal. The ports are pretty standard given the price point. You get three USB 3.0, an HDMI, and a USB Type-C on the same side as the SD card reader. The laptop does get pretty warm during gaming. You can definitely feel the warmth through the keys on your fingers, but it's not too hot or distracting. Battery life isn't the best either. For my benchmarks, I got really close to four hours of use under the balance plan, which is to be expected on a gaming laptop of this price point. In terms of storage, you only get 256 gigabyte of space via SSD, which isn't much to be honest. So I definitely recommend upgrading it or adding some sort of external storage. Luckily, it was very easy to access the back to upgrade the storage and memory. Like I mentioned before, this laptop is beast when it comes to gaming. It pretty much handled everything I threw at it over 60 FPS in maxed out settings. It's the perfect laptop if you're playing demanding titles like GTA 5 or Battlegrounds. Otherwise, if you're playing CSGO or Overwatch, then I would save the money and get a laptop with a 1050 Ti instead. Overall, this is a very solid gaming laptop and it's currently the best gaming laptop given its price point of 1050. There is no other gaming laptop out there that gives you the same specs for this exact same price point. Honestly, if it were up to me, I would have preferred just 8 gigs of RAM instead of 16 and then use that extra money on more storage, but you know, it is what it is. Since it is running Windows 10, you can actually play Xbox and Xbox One games and connect with other players online through your Microsoft account. You also get some pretty cool features like in-game DVR capabilities and optimization for games. I'll drop a link to the Helios 300 down below in case you guys want to check it out. And again, a huge thanks to Acer for sending out the laptop and sponsoring this video. As I mentioned before, I will be doing a giveaway on this laptop and if you guys want to enter, all you have to do is drop a like and let me know in the comment section what you liked about this laptop. What is the best feature that you liked about the Helios 300 in one sentence? Uh, I'll be announcing the winner at the end of September on my Twitter account, so make sure you guys are following me there. Believe it or not, there are so many people that haven't claimed their prizes on my past giveaways, so I was always forced to pick new winners. So make sure you guys are following me there if you want a chance to win. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.